At PostHog, we work with a lot of early stage startups. We succeed when they succeed. We believe leveraging analytics helps early stage startups find success. Analytics can mean a lot of things, but there's some specific areas we found most useful for early stage startups. This video covers why early stage startups need analytics and what analytics they can get the most benefits from. So why do early stage startups need analytics? As a simple example, analytics show you whether users are actually using your product. Not, oh yeah, I'll check it out, but that they're actually logging in and using features. This is the most basic and rapid feedback you can get. For startups trying to solve problems and create value, this information is critical. Analytics lets you see where users are finding value, what needs to improve, and what's broken. From this, startups can develop plans to improve their product. They can track progress on these plans with analytics as well. For example, our team uses analytics to track progress on objectives and key results. Our session recording team wants to increase the percentage of users per organization viewing recordings. Our product analytics team wants to have the 95th percentile dashboard load times of the top 10 US and EU clients under five seconds. And our experimentation team wants to double the number of users that use feature flags. All of these objectives use analytics to track progress. Achieving them means the teams are helping build a better product, which helps PostHog succeed. Now that you understand why analytics matter, it's time to look at how they can help early stage startups the most. We believe the best way to create a successful startup is to spend time building a better product, not obsessing over data. Focusing on the most impactful parts of analytics help you do this. First, set up and watch session recordings. Session recordings are the most useful analytics tool for early stage startups. They show you exactly how users are using your product. This uncovers usage patterns, failure modes, and unexpected behaviors. In other words, big problems. Connecting session recordings to error trackers like Sentry maximize your problem solving potential. PostHog's Sentry integration connects errors to session recordings which become the recreation steps that allow you to fix issues easier. Session recordings replace other tools like database querying and user testing at an early stage to provide you details fast. PostHog includes 15,000 recordings per month free. Just include the snippet or library in your app and then turn them on in project settings. Second, early stage startups should build a key metrics dashboard. Taking the basic metrics you capture and putting them in a dashboard keeps these metrics top of mind. This means combining insights on signups, page views, and key feature usage all in one place. PostDog's auto capture feature helps you capture these metrics without additional implementation work. We also have a template dashboard for product analytics that you can easily customize to your need. It's probably too early to set up conversion funnels or an AARRR dashboard because these encourage premature optimization, or worse, hide bigger problems, like no one wanting to use your product. A key metrics dashboard ensures you keep what's important top of mind while having the most time to build. Third, gather feedback and talk to users. Metrics give an overview of the usage of your product, but nothing beats talking to users. Session recordings in a key metrics dashboard show you what your users are doing, but they can't tell you how they are feeling or what they're thinking. You must actively ask users for this information and setting up mechanisms to do it helps it happen more. This means asking for written qualitative feedback and booking user interviews. Luckily, PostHog has apps for both that integrate with your product data and feature flags. These enable you to automate the processes and spend more time on interviews and analysis. Last, you wanna monitor key actions and use them to trigger processes. You can leverage analytics to trigger outreach, support, updates, or some other interaction based on a user's behavior. For example, if a high potential customer is rage clicking or visiting the pricing page repeatedly, it's likely a good idea to reach out. PostDoc's action feature allows you to connect events to webhooks. When set up, if a user completes one or more events, a message is sent to a webhook. The webhook can then connect to services like Zapier, Slack, Discord, or whatever platform you prefer. It sends a message that your team can then act on to benefit from the situation. 
This helps you automate it and maximize growth and find success. The combination of session recordings, key metrics dashboards, user feedback, and key action monitoring are the most important pieces of analytics for early stage startups. They maintain the balance between having enough data to know what to build next without bogging you down in over analysis. Hopefully these analytics tools will be your guide towards building a successful startup. If you have any questions or have thoughts about analytics tools for early stage startups, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out postdoc.com slash blog to find a written version of this video. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.